When you begin the journey of feline ownership, it's very important to understand what you're about to get into, not just from a how-to-take-care-of-a-cat standpoint and understanding the essential needs, but it's vital to understand the differences between male and female cats with respect to behavior. In this material, I'll talk about several key differences related to territorial behavior, personality associations and relationships with humans, mating characteristics, how females respond to motherhood, adventurous qualities, playtime habits, and grooming. And although your cat's personality, regardless of male or female, can sometimes trump any gender stereotypes based on behavior, many times there are obvious differences between how a male and female will behave during certain notable circumstances. Very interesting topic, and I've got you covered. Stay tuned. Without wasting any of your precious time, let's jump right into the topic of territory. Male felines, especially cats that have yet to be fixed, they can be very rough and tumble in how they go about claiming territory. Very aggressive, very defensive. Many times if you see two cats having it out over a piece of property, you're likely looking at two males, not yet neutered and very eager to showcase their dominance. The standard bad cat that oftentimes roams any neighborhood and causes trouble when it comes to being fussy, that's typically a male, eager to seize property and attempt to take property from any beta feline on the land. On the flip side, female cats aren't as aggressive. They certainly stake their claim, but they're more inclined to do so by means of scent marking rather than engaging in a physical altercation. It's rare to see two female cats in a physical conflict over, let's say, a backyard. Typically, at the most, two females will hiss and growl, but the rough and tumble is usually left to the males. When it comes to associations and relationships with people, female cats, by stereotype, are often more affectionate, looking to humans for a connection, some degree of companionship. Female cats can be a bit more forward with their affection. On the flip side, and here's the catch, there's not too much of a flip side. Male cats, very social. They enjoy affection and good company. This one is almost a tie if we were to be keeping a score. I mentioned in the intro that personality can trump gender stereotypes. And when it comes to associations, the building of bonds and loyalty with people, the desire for attention and affection, this one is pretty much a draw in my book. I've seen the desire for affection and I've also seen the desire for independence and a bit standoffish behavior from both males and females. I say personality wins the day when it comes to whether males or females are more loving and affectionate. You could likely bring in 100 cats, a nice mix of both males and females, and the results in terms of being social and affectionate with people, they could be all over the place. Let's call this difference minuscule, if really at all. Now let's move on to the topic of mating, the behaviors involved. Females, when in heat, it's all about the vocals, doing whatever they can to find a male, to find a mate. Females can also act out and become a bit more aggressive and anything but relaxed. Males, similar to females, it's all about the vocals. This is all the more true if they hone in on a female. And going back to territory for a bit, a lot of that physical conflict between males, if it's not over property, it's likely over a female. Males being on the lookout for a mate, well, some paths can cross and the result could be an altercation. A bunch of males arguing and fighting over a female? Cats and people, I see this one really hasn't changed. Mama cat, that's our next subtopic. How does she act compared to the male? Well, the mama does the mama thing. She raises her young, teaches them the ways of the world, and provides them with all of their essential needs and protects them from harm. This is, of course, until it's time for her to part with her young and send them off into the world to execute everything that she has taught them. The dad, the male cat, most males are rather paws off when it comes to the kittens. They can still have a positive role, but it's rather understated, at least based on the stereotypes. Here again, personality can throw a bit of a curveball. Some males just don't care at all, while others are more alert, more aware, and even dedicated to taking care of the young. 
And when it comes to the curious side of life and those grand adventures, male cats just love to let that curiosity take them as far as it can take them. Males are looking for mates, looking for territory, looking to explore anything that has yet to be explored and conquered. Almost reminds me of the human male, let's say a cowboy, the man of the woods just roaming the land. Male cats are very similar in many ways. If there's a cat up a tree, fair guess that it's probably a male. Females, they like to play it smart. Female cats are less reckless, especially if they are fixed. The female playing it safe and cool while the male is up a tree five houses down the street. That sounds about right. When it comes to playtime, pretty much the same is true. Males like to get involved, a bit more aggressive, playfully aggressive. Anything that can put those feline instincts on full display. Stalking, hunting, and capturing. Female cats, they are bigger fans of playtime petting sessions and some mild stalking that usually involves less running about. Female felines are more often interested in playing with their owners than going off on their own for playtime. But, here again, individual personalities can at least on some level blur these lines. And before we wrap things up with this topic, let's talk hygiene, standard grooming. We know that cats, they seem to spend 25 of the 24 hours each day grooming. But females, they seem to care just a tad bit more. They have a strong desire to be nice and tidy, nice and clean. If you find that you have what amounts to be a constant groomer, odds would suggest that you likely have a female. On the male side, grooming is still obviously a huge part of life, although males could be a bit less keen to groom. Males, they often groom with a defined purpose, whereas female cats, they tend to groom as almost a form of self-interaction just to keep up those appearances rather than correct a problem. But here again, potato, potato. This is a close one in personality in addition to fur type. Could tip the scales on this one. To the wonderful audience of Senior Cat Wellness, what are some male-female differences that you've noticed during your time as a cat owner? Did you notice some behavioral differences almost immediately, or was it something that took some time to realize? Is there something that is quite different that I didn't cover here in today's material? What about meows? Does your male cat have a soft and squeaky meow going against the stereotype? Does your female feline have quite the deep voice? Your stories, your thoughts, and opinions at comment section as always. It's all yours. And if you enjoyed this content, please give the video a like and subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you as a member of the Senior Cat Wellness family. And until next time, thank you so very much for watching, and I will talk to you later.